Hello, I would like to, this is a full unicorn, and I would like to um, begin a chat with you about the crystal, um, the quartz crystal smoky quartz. It's, it's a very big one that I have here. Um, it actually carries an electromagnetic current going through it, which is why they heal, they do use them in crystal healings as well as in quartz watches. So I'm going to put this down for a second and um, begin a reading on today and what animal suits us best for today and what animal will be guiding us in our missions for today. So let's concentrate on them. find out what animal is our guide today. Bat. So bat is our animal for today. And um Let me hold on here. So, let me read you what the bat is in this particular book because I love them. Um, steeped into the mystery of the Mesoamerican tribal ritual is the leg end of bat. Akin to the ancient Buddhist belief in reincarnation, in Central America, bat is a symbol of rebirth. The bat has for centuries been a treasured me medicine of the Aztec, Toltec, Tolucan, and Mayan peoples. Bat embraces the idea of shamanistic death. The ritual death of the healer is steeped in secrets and highly involved initiate rites. Shaman death is a symbolic death and the initiate to the old way of life and personal identity. The initiation that brings the right to heal and to be called shaman is necessary pre preceded by ritual death. Most of these rituals are brutally hard on the body, mind, and spirit. In light of today's standards, it can be very difficult to find a person who can take the abuse and come through with it in, in their balance intact. The basic idea of ancient initiation was to break down all the former notions of self and were held by the sh shaman to be. These would entail brutal tests of physical strength and physical ability and have an even emotional button pushed hard. Taunting and spitting on the initiate was common and taunting, taught him or her to endure the duress with humility and fortitude. The final initiation step was to be buried in the earth for one day and to be reborn without the former ego in the morning. This ritual is very similar to the night of fear practiced by the natives of Turtle Island. In this ritual, the shaman-to-be is set to a certain location to dig his or her grave and spend the night in the womb of a mother earth totally alone with the mouth of the grave covered by a blanket. Darkness and the sounds of an animals would prowl, prowling quickly confronts the initiate with his or her fears. As the darkness of the grave has its place in the soul, so does the cave of bat. Hanging upside down is a symbol of learning to respond to transpose your former self into a newborn being. This is also the position that babies assume when they enter the world from womb to womb of the woman. But bat has appeared to your card today. It's symbolizing the need for a ritualistic death of some sort of way of life that no longer suits you nor your pro personal pattern. This can mean a time of letting go, passing, prepares you for per preparing you for rebirth, or in some cases, initiation. In every case, bat signals rebirth of some sort of, of yourself or of the death of old or painful death. 
The universe is always asking you to grow or become your future. To do so, you must die the shaman's death. So, I like to read that because I think it's so informative. And I don't remember and I can't recall all the amazing tribal um, leaders, religions, and the way they do things. It was every single spirit animal in this particular book called The Medicine Cards. But from taking from that, I'd like to tell you what my own opinion about um, animals and seeing them are. And I had one lovely um, commenter, which I would love to get back to your video, especially about a, a particular eagle that she had some spiritual experiences with. And animals are psychic in themselves and intuitive. And if they come across your path, it means something to the medicine people. And it means something because animals are medicine. They teach us and they help us to grow and help us to understand where our limitations are, where our magic abilities are lie, where our intuitions are, where our powers are, and what we can learn from ourselves. So whenever you see an animal go by and you're doing going along your way, think about what that animal may be to you and the message that it may be relaying to you because they are all from the universe and from the beyond. So in this particular case, the bat symbolizes in this particular region of, of natives um, that we are going through a life birth change, but not one that's simple, not, not one like perhaps the butterfly one, which is another animal that does a transformation in this medicine card deck, which we can also go one day. But today we're dealing with this because this is the energy that we are experiencing today. It's the energy of the bat. And so we may be suffering, we may be spit on, we may be hurt, we may be lashed out at, and we have to reflect on that. And we have to think, and, and even even some people being put and buried in boxes if they're dead. And you have to think, what does it mean to be dead but not dead? What does it mean to, to experience the life of somebody who's died but is not dead? It means a lot of things and it's very deep. And if you think about it, it can mean that definitely, for sure, the obvious that a part of us has died, but also what it means to let go of the fear of death and let go of the fear of change, like letting go the fear of what, it, what, what may be to come and that sometimes these painful experiences kill our naivety, kill our innocence, kill our kindness, kill our ability to trust in others, kill our hope. Um, we may be going into a situation hope, like hoping to like, see people from our past and hoping that they're going to recognize us and let, love us and care about us the same way and um, experience somebody making terrible jokes at your expense and making you feel bad about themselves when it seems like they have a great life, bullying you. Um, for example, or uh, putting you in a situation that's terrible. Of course, in this situation, it's a rite of passage. It's done for the person to, to grow and to heal, and the person going through it does know that this is part of the initiation. So taking that, they take it with honor. And meanwhile, in our life, when we are bullied, when we are teased, when we are put down, when we are told we can't do things, when we have been dragged through the mud, when we have been fired or laid off, when, when, when we've been left by our spouses or whatever it may be that you may be going through these are also trials and tribulations maybe not the same kind maybe not in an honorable way through shamanic practices for us to grow and, and learn and see our transcendence and to see our um, initial bat energies that help us see in the night without eyes which is the third eye you could still use that as that metaphor and so today I ask this card, all of us, anybody who's watching it today, um, today is the day of when we see these things, when we see a literal or spiritual spinning in the face, take that anger and take that degradation and take that feeling of death within us, of spirit, which is of innocence and naivety, believing that people are good innately inside and don't let that take the idea that everyone is bad or that everyone is going to do something to you yet know at the same time 
that we are living in a world of darkness and within that darkness we must see and through seeing we can understand and you may reference um, many different um, movies talk about it like the Jedi's or like um, I think the Matrix had, had the character who was blind but she could still see I think there's an actual woman who has a third eye that she can see even though she's blind and using these kinds of ideas for our everyday life because even though we may bl be blinded to something even though it's broad daylight or it, it, it still may be night within our minds because we are not a, a, available to see what's right in front of us until we start using our extra terrestrial not not I, I apologize not extraterrestrial <laughs> I'm sorry about that but what I mean is our ability to to use our audio senses and our echo sensations the way bats do and bats don't see but they have this great way of using echo echo technology to be able to know exactly where they are and what they're doing so when one of our limitations are against us our main one the thing that we use the most our crutch our eyes remember that we are beings that are three-dimensional that we are four-dimensional and we can see things and feel things that we don't even realize we can whether it be that it's part of our brains that we haven't accessed yet and don't know scientifically um, we don't know but I think that's what the bat means today for me so for all of us out there who are being tribalistically built into the dirt so that we can transcend take that community that may or may not be doing it through honor and take that as an honor take that as something whether it's t going through a jail sentence and and learning from that and taking that as 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 a step to realize something and to see things away anytime you have an experience that other people don't have it gives you something that it's like an echo like it's like echo technology for bats so use that in the best possible ability that you can so that we can grow and have these powers powers that we may not even know we realize we have and use them for the best so once again um my rock for the day is if i can carry it again oh this big one the smoky quartz let me tell you a little bit more about the smoky quartz if you take a small little um piece of smoky not tumbled but in its true um, crystallized form, there's a matrix that runs through it. And if you drink it once, once a week, once every, for a whole week, you will find a significant change. And the smoky quartz is here to ground us, is to bring us feet, our, be, our feet and our energy back to Mother Earth and to bring us back down into reality because we so easily get stuck in different parts of our chakras. This is the first chakra, the beginning chakra, the first chakra. The one that's connected to Mother Earth, the one that's connected to our bodies and our beings, and the ones that help us to keep grounded in situations when we want to get angry, when we want to fly away, when we don't want to think about it, when we want to be in denial, when we don't want to be in our bodies anymore. This, this stone helps us to be able to regain strength within ourselves. And we made a decision to be here on Earth, or we're lucky enough to be here. So let's feel the Mother Earth. Let's ground our feet, walk barefoot into the ground, feel the roots, the natural roots of the Earth coming in and growing within us energetically, and like a plant and a flower, being part of all of it. So with that, I leave you today. Thank you for listening. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. And if you would like to get notifications, please turn on the, the little bell button that shows when I have a new video. As well as if you have any ideas for videos that you would like me to talk about, like any specific animals that you've had experiences with that have shown you the way that were spiritual, that were like almost like angels in real life, like which is what the Native Americans and the medicine cards are all about. When they reach out to us in a, in a moment of need, they are an answer for us. And so um, anybody who has any stories like that, please feel free to DM me um, or share them. 
with me. I will leave my email and my contact information below. Um, and if you have any ideas for any future shows, please let me know. And I really appreciate it. So have a great day and hopefully I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.